in the name of Allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope that all is well at your homes stay safe and healthy okay the last lectures tell us about the specialities and some importance of noun but before that what am i talking about yes i am talking about the fun time so open your box of rain and martin and let's begin the fun the activity is selected today is the topic pronouns and what topic is from pronoun it is from chapter number 6 the topic has been taken from the word noun and now it's time for the pronouns so we are going to follow the nouns as pronoun first you should know that what is noun We have discussed in the previous lessons that noun is the naming wording system. It is a complete phenomena of naming someone like name of a place, name of a thing, name of an animal or name of a person. So it means that it is a naming system and how we are going to do the pronouns today. It also going to be followed by in the same way in the same direction as nouns but what is the relationship of noun and pronoun the point is this that why an englishman has given the word pronoun as a pronoun why is this so for example your name is hamid and your surname is ali hamid ali so obviously you are from that tree from the tree of your father whose name is ali exactly this is same happen to the pronoun that noun is a family and na- pronoun is a person of a from the family of a, a noun so we are going to discuss the same family but in little bit different way so the pronoun let's begin the lesson what is a pronoun it has been used in place of a noun this is the definition of it so it means that uh, we are using uh, these words that refer first thing about the pronoun is that it refer noun for what for it replaces yes it replace a noun how it going to be replaced let's see some examples the examples are what let's see some examples of pronoun there is a one very nice example you can all see here in the picture there are three personalities and i am going to discuss the three one the first one is jack and milly came to tea jack is he and milly she and that little suzy well that's me yes so we are having three pronouns in place of by replacing the three noun first is jack so i would like to replace jack to he and i would like to exchange the another personality here that is milly Milly has been replaced to she and Suzy who is telling us about this incident that Jack and Milly is going to tea is what is that's me because she is the speaker here and she is telling us about the two and other personalities from this we come to know that this is the first person who is explaining this to us about the third persons right she is the first person who is the speaker and she is talking to us but we are not here right now so that is why we are going to see the third personalities here who are going to be the third persons first person me second person you and the third person about whom we are talking to are going to be the third person got it let's move to the next 
this is what we come to know that what is pronoun actually. So the pronoun refers to the words used to replace nouns that have already been mentioned because this, these nouns are already been mentioned. So we are just going to replace it by using the pronouns here. See the image and we will come to know so many other pronouns here that there are some he replaced to his, she, her, me, my. These are all pronouns and we can use many of them. Let's make a list of them. See your book pages, page number 31st. And we come to know that there are so many pronouns that has been used. For example, in box 1, in box 2, Sikandar lives in Multan. Sikandar is a merchant. Why we are using Sikandar and Sikandar again? We just need to use in a grammatical way that Sikandar should be used once. And the rest of the sentences will be followed by replacing it with the pronoun. Exactly. You got it. So, Sikandar is, lives in Multan. He is a merchant. Yes. So, he is going to be the pronoun. All those sentences will be followed in the same way. For example, Jamila will be followed by using a pronoun she. Rashid will be followed. Rashid has a parrot. It speaks well. Now here we are talking about parrot, not about Rashid. Because Rashid is having something. He is possessing something, a parrot. And we are talking about a parrot here. So we will follow an animal by using a pronoun it. Same will be done in this way. So switch to page number 31. From this page I would like to select a very nice table. See the table here. And you can all see that there are some singular forms of the pronouns by following some plural form of the pronoun. How? The first person must be male or female. Gender is like that. But how we are going to divide it into subject and object? Like if a first person is I, then how I shall make it to object? Me. Yes. I will be me subject i and object will be me how let's see some more examples switch to page number 32 from these examples you will come to know all those sentences of using pronoun in your sentences and you will be able to speak more and more by using more and more sentences in your life of pronouns because all the time we are not confined of using the nouns in our sentences so it is mandatory to use all the pronouns instead of nouns all the time let's see some examples on page number 32 it's exercise 1 in the following sentences the words in italics are pronouns as we have done before in our previous lessons we also see that some of the things that we have to select uh, are usually in bold or in italic. So let's see number one sentence. Fred, you are very lazy. What is the pronoun here? Exactly. You is the pronoun. My name is Babu. I go to school daily. Now Babu is talking about himself. So he is the first person here by using a pronoun I. Same will be done in this in this way so exercise number two tells us about picking out the pronouns in the following sentences same will be done here but here is no italic and no bold words are given to you you have to pick it out to yourself the number one sentence is when the tiger saw the woman it sprang upon her so what are the pronouns here when the tiger saw the woman there is no pronoun in the first sentence but the second sentence that has been divided by using a comma punctuation here tells us about it sprang upon her so her is your pronoun here that showed that her has been used for a girl got it the girl lost a bangle but she found it near her again we are talking about the same subject and the subject is the girl but when we change it into our object it becomes her yes that's the pronoun look at page number 33 change some of the nouns into pronouns in the following sentences now your practice time the girl sang sweetly 
the people listened to the girl again girl 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 the people liked the girl the people gave the girl money let's do it by replacing it with the pronouns why we are using the nouns again and again it is not a suitable thing for the sentences so let's begin first sentence will be go in the same way because it is our identification that how we are going to use a girl and some other objects the girl sang sweetly it goes smoothly we will not uh, change any thing in the sentence but the next sentences will be changed by using some pronouns for example the people listen to the girl the people listen to her the people again the people why we are using the people the word is people so think about it isn't a singular noun or a plural yes people is a collection of so many personalities so we will use not the singular but the plural word here that is they we will use we will replace the people by using a pronoun they they liked her again we are not going to use the girl underline the word the girl and exchange it by the pronoun her the people gave the girl money again the people again the girl no i am not impressed by this sentence so i would like to change it by using some pronoun for example the people will be replaced by they gave the girl no underline the girl again and use her the people gave her money yes now this exercise will be your assessment and you have to complete it to your own by using my this pronoun method time for a diary dear students please complete the given sentences which i haven't completed because i want you all to please complete according to the given lecture i hope that nouns and pronouns are clear to you all now have a nice day and don't stop your fun with ren and martin so complete all the assignments that i have given you best of luck and allah hafiz